Hey folks, Craig here at Stumpy Grump Scale Speed Shop coming at you with another episode. This one will have a mail call and some updates on what's been going on. Uh, first of all, the mail call, I got a new cutting mat. This uh, mat for my workstation here. This isn't obviously the one because <laughs> I'm not that messy. But it's the same exact thing. 18 inches by 24 inches. I'll try to get a link in the description for that. Also, I got a box of metallic paints by Shuttle Art. There's 20 of them, two ounce bottles. I got this from Walmart as well as the cutting mat. I'll once again try to get a link in the description. Uh, I really like these paints. I've tried six of them so far. And I'll show them to you right now. First of all, there's this one here that I didn't even realize until I peeled the tape off the or from the green that I created a Joker hood. But this is the bluish purple and green over black primer. Really come out nice and dark. I did burgundy over a dark gray spoon. Then I did red over light gray and dark gray. You can really see the difference that your base color makes. So bear that in mind. Then I did a blue over a dark gray primer. Really darkened the blue and gave it quite a different look than what shows on the bottle, in the bottle. Cool looking blue too, I like it. And I did an aqua green, once again over a light gray and a dark gray primer. Most of these, your light gray is, or yeah, your light gray or white primer is going to be truer to the bottle, and the darker you go, obviously it's going to change it. So I did those. What I also did was getting ready to try all the colors here. I painted a white primer, a gray primer, and a black primer. I'm going to do silver galvanized tin which is a steel color and an obsidian which is a metallic black over those I'm going to use those as bases to do the rest of those colors that I have so that's going to be quite a process because there's 15 spoons of each I use Steiner Res primer all airbrush airbrush ready right out of the bottle white, gray, and black. And some of the colors in this, I'll show you a little highlight here. We've got, there's a gold and a champagne gold. There's a white pearl, a flash black, which is a metallic black like the obsidian. But there's an orange, a rich espresso, a reddish brown, Interested to see what colors those will come up with. I have a pink, a plum purple, which looks like a darker pink, and a regular purple. And there's a yellow green, which looks fluorescent in the bottle. A teal, one of my favorite colors. And a darker blue and ocean blue. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the different base colors will do with those. Comes with a little paint mixer, doohickey, and even comes with a set of paint brushes. Um, yeah, they're the cheap kind, but hey, there's always a use for paint brushes for doing whatever. I'll put those away. 
while ahead. I'm going to knock over my light here because I do stuff like that. While I had the primer out, I primed some hoods to get ready for some other, other paint tests. Three in gray and three in white. If you remember in my last video, I said I was going to do a test on the hood. I was doing a test on the hood with this duple color acrylic lacquer. Uh, it seemed to do pretty good. It's still soft, but I did wet sand and polish it. It seemed to react very well to that. It looks real, real glossy, real smooth. I will be using it, but I just didn't want to use it on the Nova. So you know, we'll, we'll try it at a later time. And speaking of the Nova, I did clear it with the UVLS 4050 gloss from Createx. So I'm very comfortable and familiar with that. I used five coats. Gave it a nice gloss, nice sheen. Not obviously a 2K gloss or whatever like that, but it still needs to be wet sanded and polished. That will really bring it out. But it's pretty good. Next I'm gonna try their 4053. See how that does. But there's that. And finally, I took some time to lay some primer down on the 70 Camaro that I have an extra body for. The Baldwin Motion Kit, when I got it, the fenders here were pretty scrunched up. And you can see that the replacement body that they sent me isn't any better. So I just fixed the body that I had, and I'm going to use this as a test bed for a rust or patina look. Two coats of Steiner Res Gray Primer over that putrid green, and it covered it completely. You can't even tell it was green. I'm going to spray a rust color over it. What I'll be using is actually Folk Art Terracotta, which gives a nice rust color. So I'll spray that over the primer, and then I'll put on some sea salt. I'll get it wet and put some sea salt on it. And I'll spray it with a random color, uh, probably a blue. And see what happens. I haven't done a patina job or a rust job or anything like that yet. I've been kind of itching to do it. So this will be my test bed to see if it's feasible for me. Sometimes the easiest things are the hardest things for me. But that's what's been going on. Um... I'll have uh, another update maybe later on this week on more progress on the Nova. I'll get it wet sanding and polished, hopefully Wednesday. And today and tomorrow, if I have time, hopefully enough time, I'll finish up detailing the interior, the engine, the chassis, and I'll get some assembly going on that and hopefully have it all ready for when I get the body wet sanded. I can start getting this whole thing together. So until then, keep on modeling. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell your friends about my channel. The more the merrier. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.